Hello and welcome back to the next episode of my Shadowman Remastered playthrough. In the previous episode we just got the ability to touch fire um, and in this episode we're actually going to use that ability to go back and get some um, Dark Souls that we didn't, um, we weren't able to get before um, because we can't progress any further in the Temple of Fire so we need to start to get um, up to level 4 in this episode, Dark Soul level 4. And to do that we're going to go to the Asylum Gateway and we're going to use our uh, fire touching abilities um, over here to unlock a new area that we weren't able to get to before. Um, so there's quite a lot to actually pack into this episode. Um, we're going to do some backtracking but we're also going to actually fight a never before seen boss. Um, something that was a bit of a surprise to me. This is where we're going to use the first of our fire touching abilities. Um, but yeah. I, um, this is the first video that I've recorded actually since the launch of the game. Um, every video you've watched up until now was recorded before release. Um, I think I've got six episodes, so we're on episode seven now, and um, I'm, I'm now able to see what the communities find and things like that. And there was a boss that I completely missed. Um, I guess I just wasn't going to the, to um, yeah, it's on the way to lower. Um, where you give your Kado to, so we'll, we'll get to that later, but um, I totally, I guess I just didn't go there, but I did also miss the area, I kind of just walked past it. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't see it on my first playthrough, um, but we're going to go and find that out today. Um, also, by the end of this episode, we will have picked up the Poing, which is, uh, I believe the, the word Poing is translated from French to Grip. Um, and uh, what it essentially lets you do is grip the blood falls and really once you get that ability then the, um, the backtracking is just like exponentially more if you know what I mean so like right now we can backtrack a little bit with um, with the ability to touch fire but once we get the poing um, we can climb lots of blood falls and it more or less in almost every area, there's some water, there's some waterfall somewhere to climb, so that's going to be a very useful ability, um, and uh, yeah, it's just going to open up the game a lot more for us. Try and avoid these guys. Um, in the original Shadow Man, um, there was so over here is like uh, the for, the way you axe. Oh no, this is yeah, this is where we climbed into this bit. But I think right here there was, um, in the original, there was a um, Govi just sitting right here. But they've removed it in this version so that they can sort of allocate it to some of the cut content. So there's there's no Govi there, but we're going to get, we're still going to get, I think, two in this area before we move on. So let's first get this one up here. Sniper Hog, Shinaz. There we go. And uh, yeah, let me just pick up this first one. First of two. There's a there's a, actually also a very quick and easy one to get near the very first ever Dark Soul that we ever picked up. And again, that's just using the fire touching ability. So we'll go and get that on our way to to York, this new boss. And um, as well as uh, so because now I've released my videos um for a while they were kind of private i wasn't able to share them until the game launched but um tim haywood has actually commented on one of my videos to say that the reason the initial cut content wasn't in in the game the reason it was dropped i was kind of speculating and saying like maybe it was because there was bad language in it maybe it was just a little bit too dark I wasn't quite sure but he basically came back to say that the reason the cut content was finally cut was because um, just purely because of time constraints. They didn't have um, they didn't have time to get it in for release, so they just had to decide right which parts of this are we gonna are we gonna drop. And uh, they he said that they basically decided um, by which levels were the least complete. And I guess the uh, the two in live side that were dropped and the the one level in um in dead side the experimentation rooms uh they were it was dropped because i guess they just weren't progressed far enough so it was just kind of cut out of the game uh, which is a real shame there's our this is our second dark soul we're going to pick up the power of the dark souls um and also like so we, we all kind of known we all the fans that were kind of looking into this we all knew that the uh 
there, there was going to be three levels added back in. But um, what we didn't know was uh, about this boss, or at least um, I guess we just didn't really... We thought it was an enemy or something maybe, but... Oh, I'm just, I want to go and get some uh, Kado over here because we're going to go to Loa, so I hope to be at least be able to... Um, uh, I need to get at least 100 Kado um, in order to um, give them to her as a sacrifice, I think, and then you get some, uh, you get an extra health bar. So we're going to go to where we got our first ever Dark Soul. And uh, there's a sneaky hidden one in behind. We just have to push a fire block in order to get uh, a new one. All right, let's see up here. Um, Got it. But yeah, the the, uh, the the other thing is because um, I in my previous video when I was in the experimentation rooms, the boss wasn't he couldn't fight the boss. Um, there was a cutscene, but the boss just kind of was stuck in its T position and didn't move. And uh, I've since learned that that is actually going to be fixed. Um, but Night Dive just didn't actually have time to fix it um, for release on this. But the idea is to patch that back in. Um, I think due to uh, COVID, there was some uh, slowing down of the development. And I think that's also seen in the fact that the release trailer for the game actually used the old textures um, so they even they didn't even have time to kind of update the the release trailer with the new textures which um, which was a bit of a shame because then unfortunately people will probably watch that and think that was what the final game looks like um, but luckily on day one I was able to upload my graphical comparison so hopefully at least some of the fans were able to see that before they maybe purchased the game uh, based on the um, the, the actual release trailer which doesn't really f truly represent um, the changes in the, the remaster. Um, Digital Foundry actually also did a really good uh, video on the changes too. So this is on our way to York. So like every time I played this and um, <clears throat> anytime I was replaying it and stuff for, for footage of like replaying the old version, I would run up this ramp and just not see that if we turn it's like a like an illusion or something like when you turn here you just there's this path just is, it, is there but it's like an optical illusion where you just don't see the path and like even though you can see this opening from over there I just always jumped on the rope bridge and never really thought about it but this is the way to lower um, where we actually uh, offer up the Kado but it's also the way to this new boss and there's a couple of uh, Dark Souls we can pick up um, let me see, what's the best way of doing this? So there's two Dark Souls in this area. Um, no, I want to drop down first and then we'll go and see Loa afterwards, I guess. Because I have to get a couple of Dark Souls down here. Really, in terms of story progression here, what we're actually trying to do is, um, is to get to level 4 Dark Souls. Um, and that'll allow us to open level 4 um, doors. But also, um, well, there's a lot of guys down here. Um, it also um, lets us go on and get the point because um, that's kind of necessary for, uh, to again, get more Dark Souls. I'm not even gonna fight these guys. I'm gonna try not to anyway. We'll just run back up because I don't think they'll be able to follow me beyond this little skin bridge here. So that's unlocked. Um, uh, rope bridge where we can uh, go over and get I believe two dark souls over this way and that might even be enough I think maybe even one's enough to get me up to level four I think so yeah oh no maybe it's level five sorry I think I'm, I'm actually already level four I've nearly got a hundred cut which is good I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to make because I was thinking like if I'm going to visit this um, place um, I might as well be able to get an extra health bar while I'm there, so I'm not having to backtrack too much. Okay, so I have to actually jump over here now. Kind of an awkward jump, just because of the camera angles. I have to hope that I... Oh, damn. I have to hope that I don't get hit. No way. Every time I've played this, I haven't got hit by that. And of course, the time I record, I do get hit. So I may have to take out this um, flying enemy first. I 
Oh yeah, that's I, I, one of the other things they're adding. I don't know if I actually really mentioned this, but they the um, so there, there's a few fixes coming in the patch. The first is going to be um, boss uh, the uh, the the broken boss we'll call her at the minute in the experimentation room. She's going to be fixed, but also the, they're going to add back in crouch. Or sorry, not crouch, uh, lock in. They're going to add on uh, the lock in fe lock on feature. Um, so like for that flying enemy, I would have been able to lock onto him in the original, but um, there is no lock on button or key at the minute, so um, it will be patched back into the game basically. Um, and everyone's very confused by the fact that I had a cutscene for the boss, but um, and, and in the released version there was no cutscene or anything at all, so people were like, uh, they they kind of thought their version was broken, but if anything mine was broken. And it shouldn't have had anything uh, until it's sort of ready to be viewed by everyone. All right, let's see. So this is the entrance to where we go and uh, give our cadeau. Um, in some ways, like you don't even really necessarily need to do this um, part of the game. Like you could just get the Dark Souls and go. Like, but obviously. If you're gonna want some more health, you're gonna to want to do this. Um, I, I mean, that, yeah. So we could just basically get these dark souls and, and just leave this area right now because um, maybe I'm or maybe I'm already level four and I was was I level three when I started? I can't remember. Um, but I think I have enough now to go and get the poin. But what we're gonna do just for fun while we're here and to show you guys something new that's never been seen before, we're gonna go and fight Yort. See, um, so we have to go. Might be quicker just to go across this here again. We're gonna go in the the upper door this time. And I believe after we get the point, um, and now that we're level four, the next level I'm gonna do is probably gonna be the Asylum Cageways. Uh, because I think I can actually already like access that now. So this is actually going to give us a yeah that, that little uh, teddy bear sign. If you see that coming up, what it's doing is it's giving you a new um, like warp sec point. So I can now warp to this. Um, I actually pretty much forgot this area existed because, I, like I said, um, I haven't fully completed this game since I was a kid. So like I probably would. I'm only really positive I was here because I remember getting the baton. I think it's called. Um, which is what lets you warp here. Um, I remember definitely doing that as a kid, but like I have pretty much no memory of this area. There's a lot more enemies here than I thought there might be. Um, and it's kind of a secret entrance. Like yes, they're showing you there's a cuddle there, so like it tells you to do that. But you have to shimmy across here to actually get into this place. And um, or I guess if you came back here later in the game, you could just uh, walk on the lava. Um, I don't know. As a, as a kid, I'm not sure if I maybe I, maybe that's how I actually find this place just by walking about in the lava, um, just backtracking. Um, but I just have no memory. It was like like 22 years ago at least. Um, I think it's gonna be this way is the way to get to this place. Um, let's do a quick save because I'm just paranoid that I'm gonna like uh, drop on the some of this lava or something. But I do want to get this kado because I'll probably not be down here again. Um, because later when we get our baton, um, we'll we'll just be able to warp into this area. We'll not have to like actually do all these jumping about uh, platforming parts. And uh, one of the cool things is like whenever the game launched, I can't go down there. Right? Yeah, when, whenever the game launched, uh, one of the devs typed in the Discord chat, uh, the official Night Dive Discord um, Shadow Man bit. He posted saying, oh, "Yeah, there's something really cool in uh, Temple of Life." I think he said. So I'm gonna push this block. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Temple of Life. He's like, "Yeah, there's a, a cool little um, hidden thing in Temple of Life." And I was like, "What's he talking about?" Um, and it was only whenever I what. Oh, I thought I was dead there. It was only whenever I watched um, 
some uh, some streamers playing it, and uh, they came down this area that I knew um, about the boss. I believe we're getting pretty close. Oh damn it! Yeah, so the boss is just beyond this. One more block we can push. Um, it's interesting that this block is not actually even a, a block that's on fire. Um, something I don't remember at all. Like, and it's interesting that we're only now getting pushable blocks, but I'm at the point now where like, um, if it was on fire, it wouldn't matter. But maybe it's like it just lets you access it before. Like, you could probably access this area fairly early on. Um, but I just wouldn't be sure if you'd have enough Kado to actually have any real benefit from it. But maybe to get the baton or something, like if you want to teleport and stuff like that. There we go. So here's the here's the boss here. Um, here's Yort in his all his glory. Um, if we were to play this on the original um, version of the PC, uh, the boss just wouldn't be here, and it would just be like a big piece of skin kind of that you should, you could just shoot and jump down. So I guess they didn't have time to program the boss or whatever, so they just kind of removed it and put a shootable item there. Which, if I have time, I'll actually just edit that in as well. So let's go and fight uh, York. In the name of <laughs> Holy shit! I am the Lord of Dead Side. Oh, great! So I've only fought this boss once, but I find the best thing to do is actually to attack the floating about things first, because they kind of um, shoot things at you. Oh my, this did not happen last time I fought this boss. I didn't, oh, okay. Uh, he was a lot easier the first time I fought him, and he didn't spawn any of this stuff in. Um, his tail uh, can be pretty devastating. But um, the first time I fought this guy, he basically just had three of these things and that was it. So uh, he's actually spawning more now for me. Oh, the tail just about missed me as well. So I guess actually my tactic the first time I played him was shoot the floating things and then attack him. But um, it looks like he'll just keep regenerating them anyway. So probably just focus on your himself. And these flowing about things, all they're really doing is distracting me from actually being able to hit your. Great. Okay, let's see if I can get some more shots into him. Fire doesn't even really seem to be hitting him at all. Okay, I think I got him. And I wonder if by killing him do you kill these things? No, you don't. So you have to keep fighting these guys as well. So the big circle that's just opened up um, below where York was sitting, um, that's where like the piece of skin would be in the original. So let's see if we can get some fire in here or something. Great. So yeah, this whenever we come into this room in the original, there would just be like a kind of dome of skin there that we would shoot. And uh, yeah, I'll just jump down. Yeah. Hopefully I have enough, I think I've got 100 Kado. Let's find out. Oh, I do, just about enough. So let's, um, let's first of all pick up this uh, new item. This should be useful. Yeah, baton, so, um, this basically lets you um, fast, well, <coughs> kind of warp using these little pillars, or uh, whatever they're called. Um, <clears throat> and these, let me see, count them, one, two, three. These five things gives you more, like, see, because we've got five empty spaces on our health. 100 Caddo given in offering to the lower shall greatly increase the strength of a man's spirit. Okay, yeah, greatly increase our spirit, so let's go and do that, let's see. These gifts I give to thee, O gracious Loa, O generous Loa, a spiritual trade for life beyond. My life force increases. So we are life force increases, the great Loa has been appeased. Um, we'll come back here 
Let's do this. Zelda. This reminds me of Zelda when we do this. Like, um, I don't know. It like, looks like rupees. They kind of um, they look really out of place in Shadow Man. Like these um, uh, blue rupees. <laughs> Just always reminded me of Zelda, and there is actually warp points in Zelda like that um, in some of the temples. So let us now fast travel to the, the final thing we need to do is get the point. So we'll go to the Temple of Fire and we'll work our way up to get that, and uh, that'll probably leave us for this episode. So we need to go back over this way um, and we're going to work our way back up to where we pressed all the switches and it's actually um, on the opposite side to the door that you should go through. We're going to get, um, first of all, I think I think you need the fire touching ability but also level 4 gear. Like it basically just gets you into a place where you can get a level 4 gear. But we're well into our level 4 now. Let's see, it might actually be up here. Is it this one? Let's find out. Or maybe it was the far side. We may have went... Oh no, I think I've went in the wrong door. No, we need the... We need a different fire object to get through there. I can't remember what it's actually called. So I guess it's on the other side over here. Pretty cool having an, an extra little bit of health that just will help out. Okay, so we push this fire block out of the way. And avoid the fire for now. Here we have the level 4 gate just around this corner. Yep. Let's open this up. I am the Lord of Deadside. And here we have the point. Uh, it's just like some gloves, this gauntlets, I guess you could call it. Um, where we're now wearing this. We're getting more and more. Um, uh, our character models getting more and more uh, sort of customization on the, the character so but now we can climb blood falls um, and there's all there's there's so many of these in the game that we're gonna have to backtrack throughout um, all the old levels this jump is actually so down down below here there's a another goalie so I'll pick that up but this jumps actually kind of difficult to make it's not like you don't die or anything but because you're like treading water whenever you're walking, you, you're going really slow, and then you've only got like a couple of seconds to jump. It's, I, I haven't not made that jump, but it's just kind of awkward because you're moving really slow when you're in the water. So, uh, but I mean, you can just, I think, just climb back up there if you don't get it. So let's see if I drop down here. I could just climb back up if I want. Um, this area here, I'm not sure if there's actually anything overly useful in here. And probably not until we get the ability to actually break through some of these um, skin doors. Um, and I also like the ability to open up some of these um, bigger gates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp out of this area now that I've got what I need. And we're just going to go back to the Paths of Shadow. And I think this is probably a good time to end the episode. And what I'll do is uh, in the next episode we're going to make our way to the... Um, the asylum cageways. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, we've got quite a lot more than we had when we started. We're now at level four, we've got our point, and we can start to play a new level and also be able to go and probably backtrack later to get even more Dark Souls. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, I also have a review and I have a comparison of the game and uh, all the previous videos. And ultimately this is going to be a full playthrough of the game, so please subscribe and uh, look out for the next video. Thanks for watching guys.